This right here is an LED dot matrix. It has 64 LEDs, eight rows, eight columns. And when you light up different ones, you can start to draw an image, text, or any basic information. So in this video, I will show you how this thing works how to write the code for it, how to wire it up, everything you need to get started. If you enjoy this type of content, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to see more reviews and tutorials on different electronics such as these. Also, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. LED matrices tend to come in three different types or models. First dimension ones where it's just one rows of LEDs, so things that are usually used to kind of show audio or zero to 100% where they light up progressively. Then you have two dimension ones like this one where it's two rows that make a 2D plane and you can draw 2D things like the smiley face here. And then you have three dimensional ones like this one but stacked on top of more versions of itself until you make a cube. So LED matrices are really just a bunch of single LEDs connected in a format. For ones like mine right here, it's a grid of rows and columns across an up and down. When you want to light up a single LED in a single location, like let's say we want to write up the, the top right corner, this one right here where my finger is, we have to give power to this row right here and then to this column right here. And that will light up that single LED. Now because of that, we can only light one LED at a time. But what you couldn't tell when I was doing that little animation earlier in the video is that all those LEDs were actually firing off on their own and only one at a time. Because it happens so quick at such a high speed, our eyes can't pick it up. Even cameras will struggle to pick it up. So that means we can light up a whole board while actually only lighting up one LED at a time. It's actually really similar to how keyboards work, like this one right here. When I press, for example, the H here, it goes through this row and then that column. When it comes to use cases, these things aren't really used in any professional setting. They're just not really efficient. You can't put a lot of the screen. You're kind of limited to these weird, you know, 8-bit type animations. You have other matrix type devices like this one right here, which you might have seen on old school microwaves. But even then, that's not enough. You need more stuff to display on the screen. You also have this which is also just one. Then we also have the LCD display we did in the last video. So when it comes to professional use cases, these are not that great. But what's cool about these is a lot of them, like mine right here, come with two ends and you can actually take multiple and stack them together and make this big billboard style animations, which people use for some projects. When it comes to actual specific matrices, there's usually two different types. There's one like mine, which comes with four or five pins. And then inside, you can't really see it, but between the board, let me see if I can focus it up. Between the board right there, not where those connectors are, but in the middle there, it's very hard to see. I'll put an arrow up on the screen, but right inside of there, there's actually a chip for controlling this. Because if you had one of these raw, like this one right here, you would have to connect to each pin individually like they do right here. So you can see there's eight pins up here and eight pins down there. That's the rows, that's the columns. But because of that chip in here, it allows me to control this board with a lot less code, with a lot less wiring, because I don't want to do 16 wires, I want to do just five. So if you don't have one like mine, where there's a chip inside and it's just the raw matrix board, I have a second set of code in the description for you to open up and go do. But wiring up is the same thing. You're just gonna have to wire up the rows and the columns instead of wiring up a control pin, a power pin, a ground pin, etc. If you have one like mine, then you can continue with the code I'm gonna show you right now. So when it comes to wiring up, it's really simple. We've got five cables. The first two we're gonna do is power and ground. So power is gonna to go to VCC. Then we have ground, which is gonna to go to GND. Then we have DIN. Oh, I have some stuff running on this. So I'm just gonna unplug it. Then we have DIN, which is gonna to go to 12 on the board. Then we have CLK, which is going to plug into 11. And then we have CS, which is going to plug into 10. The first step, as always, is to include any libraries you're using. So in ours, we're going to be using two different libraries, LED control and binary.h. You shouldn't have to install binary, but you should have to install LED control. So just go over to your library manager, put that in, and then install the one by Eberhard. Then the next step is to Go and declare your LED control, your matrix. And in our case, here are all the cables we're plugging into. 12, 11, 10, and then one you're not plugging into, but that's usually the reset pin. Then we're gonna declare a variable called delay time. This is going to be how long we wanna wait between animations. The reason we're putting it up here is so that we can change it once instead of having to change it four or five times down in our loop. I'll make sure to have this part down in the description. It's just our pre-made faces. The way this works is, 
each one of these is a row and then wherever there's a zero it means off wherever there's a one that means on so in the top row there's eight leds the first two will be off the middle four will be on and then the last two will be off making eight and then repeat that for every single shape so if you wanted to make a letter which i think we should do at the end is we'll go and actually copy paste one of these and make our own in the setup it's pretty simple we have to do a little shutdown here to start the code we have to set our brightness we're going to set it to an eight this is a comma right here this isn't the point so it's zero and then eight and then we have to clear display which means if there was any previous led set up on it we want to restart it and then do this one when it comes to setting an led on or off you have three different options you can either set an led one specific one manually so you would do you don't really need the address but you need the row the column and the state the state being zero or one zero for off one for on if you want to do the whole row or column at once you could do what we did earlier here which is doing this little bit here which as i went over zero zero means off off and then four ones means four LEDs will be on in the middle and then the last two will be off again because of the zero zero so if you wanted to do something like that you could do that right here in set row and take care of the whole row at once instead of going one by one with set LED now let me show you an example this right here is our sad face and it's using the SF array which is up here so you can see we have sad face and then we have all these we just take each one of these and we put them, let's see if I can do this manually, like that. And because we're doing this, that means the whole row will be taken care of with this one command. And then this is the next row, this is the next row, and we do that eight times to take care of the whole screen. Now by default, they should be off, so if you wanna set any on, you have to do this, but if you're not gonna to touch a row, you don't have to actually input anything. Let's put that back to what it was and let's upload this and see if it works. Look at that. So we have our sad face as I went over before it's off, off four ons and then off, off. That's because of what we did up here. Now they actually all have that, which I guess you would call like the forehead or the top of the head part. And then you can see the next row. It does off on middle off and then on off. So I think it would be cool that we can actually make our own face or whatever you want to call it. I think something that would be simple is the letter H. So I'm just going to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is comment out sad face and refresh and have it clear the display because this thing is really bright. Comment this out because it's breaking the code. Oh, I commented out the whole loop. There we go. That should work. So we'll do an array called letter H. It's a byte array with eight pieces inside of it. And then I'm going to go and we're going to need to shut off a bunch of rows. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then one thing I should say, one thing I should note is for the letter H, it'd probably be easier for us to work in columns because we have those two big parts of the H and then the one in the middle. So we can work with columns for the two sides and then the middle one can be a row. So we're only actually going to need three pieces for the letter H, which will make our lives very easy. So I'm going to uncomment those. So let's do the first, the columns. So we want column zero and column seven, or also known as the first column and the last column. So zero and then seven. We want those to be lit up. So what we'll do is we'll grab the pieces of our array. The first two will be full on. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need that twice. The rest of these don't matter because we're only going to use three of them. So, I mean, you could, if you want to, you could shorten it like this and then, oops, you could do that. So the first column zero zero is going to be turned on the second or the, sorry, the last column, the seventh column is going to be on as well. That's going to be the first part. The second part, we don't even need these to be honest, just because they're all three, the same, we could just copy paste that, but it doesn't matter. And then we're going to do 
One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the fifth row. The fifth row to be on. All right, let's upload that and see what we get. Something broke, what broke? Well, apparently it's not set col, it's set column. So let's try that and see what happens. Boom, there's our H. Also, I made this one a little, a little mistake here. That should look more like an H right there. Check that out, we made our own letter. That's it for the LED matrix. If there's anything you want to know about it, see about it, any of the code, you have questions, you want to make other letters, you can do two things. You can like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then check out the Discord link in the bio of this video where you can come and join and ask me questions personally or anyone else who's in that group. Thanks for watching.